In this video, we'll look at spot fire tags. There are times that you may want to group rows in a data table according to some choice that you want to make manually. For example, let's say that you were looking at this scatter plot and you wanted to group the performers by how well they're performing. This can be done by attaching tags to rows in our data table. There are tags and tag collections. A tag collection is represented as a column containing a set of different tags. And this is a column that's added to the data table and therefore can be used for filtering the data just like any other column in your table. The table collection has a number of different tags or can have a number of different tags and you attach tags to marked rows. So let's go and take a look at how we can use tags. Now to view tags we go to the toolbar here and we can click on the tags icon or we can also go to the view menu and select tags from here. So this opens the tag panel and now we can see both data tables. I have two data tables associated with this document. Okay, and here what we'll do is we'll select the employee sales historical table. That's the one we're going to be working with. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when you select a row, each row can only contain one tag from each tag collection, but the document itself can contain many tag collections. So you can have many tags associated with a row based on a number of different tag collections. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So looking at this data in the scatter plot here, let's say that we want to look at our performers and see who's doing well and who's not, who needs help. Okay, so here's a group here. Their salaries are pretty high, but their sales, well, the performance is not all that great. Still down here with the people that are making a whole lot less. So let's go here. We'll highlight that group. And then we'll go over here to our tag panel. We'll create a new tag collection first. We'll call this performers. We'll click OK. And then under performers, we'll edit that tag collection because I spelled it wrong. Call that performers, not performers, performers. Click OK. Now we'll click on performers. And you can see actually under performers, there's already a tag. And that tag is actually all the items in our data table that haven't been marked yet or haven't been tagged yet. Okay, so let's right click on performers and we'll select new tag. Alternatively, we could also go up here into our toolbar in the tag panel and click on the new tag icon. So let's call this new tag needs help. So these are our performers that need help. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll right click the needs help and we'll attach tagged to marked rows. So remember we marked those rows. So let's click on that. We'll see needs help has eight rows in it. Okay, so that's these, this group of performers here. Now let's go and we'll mark this group of performers. Now they're not doing that well sales wise either, but their salaries are quite low. So what we'll do is we'll create another tag here and we'll call that tag acceptable. And we'll right click on acceptable and we'll attach tag to marked rows. Cool. And now we have a group of excellent and really excellent performers. We'll highlight those here or mark them. We'll go over to performers, create a new tag. We'll call this tag excellent. Just click OK. We'll go and right click on excellent and attach tag to marked rows. So now you can see we have no rows untagged. So we have 12 in excellent, 8 acceptable, and 8 needs help. Now here's an interesting thing. If you look down here in the data panel, if you go down here, you'll see performers as one of the columns. Okay, so let's click on the filter. We'll see that we can filter 
by all of these. So you can see that they're all selected right now. Okay, so very cool. Now, one other thing. If we were to go and put a table visualization on here, let's go ahead and put a table object here. And if we scroll over, we'll see a performer's column just like we would if we added the column to it. So we see the performance column and we see the requisite tags that we associated with those different rows. Now you can highlight those rows. Let's double click on this. So that's highlighting those rows. And then what we can do is we can create something that's similar to tags called lists. The difference between tags and lists is that tags are specific to the current analysis while lists persist from session to session. And you can combine the functionality of tags and lists. Now, if we were to go and open up our list panel right now, we'd see that we don't have any lists in there. So we can create a list here. Okay, so we can make a new list from marked. If we click on that, the new list we'll call Excellent Performers. And that's the name of our list. We'll group that list by the office that it's in, and we'll click OK. And now you can see that we've got a list here called Excellent Performers and sublists, the Canadian office and the U.S. office. By combining the functionality between tags and lists, what we can do is we can transfer knowledge between analyses from one to another. And we can do that with lists. But with tags, we can use, for example, lists within this analysis and only this analysis because it doesn't persist from session to session with a tag. And we'll see that again in another video. Okay, so in this video, we looked at spot fire tags.